Let us begin now to prepare ourselves. Oh, uh, I get calls 10, 15, 20, 100 times a day. Baba, Baba, I will declare a nation. My answer is soon, very soon. God has granted us our country. We are preparing ourselves in two different ways or in three different ways to receive the country. The first way is to pray, to thank God. The second is to reform our own moral quality so that we will be near, near to our God. And the third is to, to make sure that the declaration will not be fraught with danger. What do I mean by that? I will give examples. A country called Catalonia, in Spain, the, richest, uh, the richest people in Spain, the Catalonians of Northeastern Spain, because of the way they have suffered in Spain, the way we Yoruba have suffered in Nigeria. In the, the past few years, they have decided that I want to shape Spain more. I want to shape country to one lot of, and they're quite a large country. So they mobilize themselves the way we Yoruba have mobilized ourselves. They, in their own case, they were lucky. I wanted six different uh, state governments, and then part of us in Kwara, part of us in Kogi, part of us in South in uh, Niger, uh, Niger State. But in their own case, all the Catalonians are in one region, uh, one region of Spain, with one regional government that's fortunate they were very fortunate in that i want my country to to my baby i want government to want me for a fact i want to i think i got a government to call at all the shark in sharawa the government you could be to like jack in sharawa in their own case they have just one regional government region of catalonia in northeastern spain so all their political parties held a meeting yeah, we're not any political parties. See, PDP, Walani, Wa PPC, Labour, but now low Walani, I want But then they organized the meeting some seven, eight years ago, and all of them decided it is time that we Cat Catalans leave Spain. So all the political parties agree to join hands together to fight for the independence of Catalonia from Spain. Wow, so far so good. Then they organized a referendum. The government of Spain went to court to try and stop them from organizing a referendum. So they canceled it. And then they came with a very genius response. We are organizing a referendum for ourselves. We are not asking Spain to recognize it. If you are not asking Spain to recognize it, then Spain cannot stop you. Referendum. And 99 point something percent of those who voted voted yes for the government and independent of an independent state of Catalonia. Then the national, uh, the, the regional, the regional assembly, the regional government took the result of the uh, referendum from them and move the motion in this regional parliament and the regional parliament unanimously voted for the new country wonderful then the trial came now you hear me i want you to listen to me very carefully then everything has been going on well fine now the trial time came the government of Spain said that they had committed treason, that their leaders had committed treason by leading them along the lines of voting for independence in the parliament. The prime minister particularly was, was, uh, was attacked by the government of Spain. They charged them with treason. He had to leave the country. Now he had it. Listen to me here. When he left the country, there was no country he had made arrangement with before. They had made no arrangement with any country of Europe or anywhere in the world. 
for friendship, for support. So he just ran blindly to Italy. Italy let him settle down. But then the government of Spain charged Italy with offending against the government uh, against the, uh, the against Spain by interfering illegally in the affairs of Spain. And so the government of Spain decided to send him away to back to his country where he was under the criminal charge of treason. He, he got lawyers to represent him in the court of Italy. The court ruled that the government of Spain had no business, no duty, no right to send him back to Spain but had the right and the duty to send him out of out of italy but keep so leave our country so he left italy and i think he went to ireland or some other place and it has been so now for for more than four years the prime minister of a country that jubilantly declared itself a country in the world has no country in the world recognizing it mm -hmm. nobody no country in the world is recognizing catalonia and so the independence uh, declaration is just a dud a nullity. it doesn't amount to anything Catalonia is still in Spain and the Spanish government is still taking action against those leaders there who led the people in the direction of independence. What am I saying to you? It is foolish to declare your independence without having a, a little assurance that country one or two will be right back by beside you if danger comes if trouble comes that oh this country may be willing to mediate between us and the government of nigeria if trouble comes this come at uh, this come at uh, this uh, country will be ready will it's not a question of may you must be sure absolutely sure will be ready to stand by us if we declare our independence and nigeria marches in an army upon us or this country is ready to offer to mediate between us so that they can invite us to their country and ask us and the, the Nigerian authorities to sit down to negotiate the future. So we can then insist at the negotiation table that we don't want to be part of Nigeria anymore. But we are ready to help Nigeria in some respects. Uh, the people left in Nigeria in some respects. There are ways in which we can help. We are the strongest people in the whole place. There are things in which we can help help the others that, that's the way the game is played do i want the yoruba nation uh, tomorrow no 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 tomorrow is too late i want it today i want to be able to stand before you yoruba people today and say we have our country praise the lord but before we do that and the day will come when we will be able to do that nobody's coming to declare our country for us our phone our lama declare our country war but before we do that before we take that step we need to have some things in place and that is what some of us are doing now and keeping sleepless nights to do We must prepare the ground. Is there any country that is ready to mediate between us 
we have given Nigeria a deadline of September 30. When September 30 comes, if the Nigerian government is not ready to negotiate with us, is there any country in the world that stand up and say, oh, those people gave you a notice and asked you to negotiate with them. They are peaceful people. They are decent people, civilized people. We, country A, will stand between you. Recording and in we are progress. Invited, and we are inviting you to our country to come and do the negotiation. We will provide all the facilities for you. A decent hotel, good like negotiating table, recording materials, etc., etc. Or, or that's a, that's one option. Or there's another option. Is there a country in the world that will say to us, "Listen, we think you deserve what you are asking for. Go on and declare." your country we will be right there by your side if nigeria matches their army in the next morning we will be there to tell them to go back because our own army will be stronger than theirs hmm? those are the things we're looking for now those are the things we are searching for without such guarantees we will be endangering our people needlessly oh there is a another country on the african continent somalia broke into pieces somalia i mean the government of somalia broke into pieces and they began to fight one another uh, one uh, the, uh, military dictator Baris said, said uh, he was uh, the, the the ruler of all, but he was ruling nothing because the country was in chaos. Just as Nigeria is in chaos now. Finally, in 1991, Barry ran away, and a section of the country, that Somalia is a large country, a section of the country nearer the Indian Ocean then said to itself well this country is broken up we can no longer stay in it we are a civilized people we are we are productive people all this war we are tired of it so we are taking our own country away from somalia and we will call our new country somaliland that's different from Somalia. The, the rest of the country is Somalia, but we will be Somaliland. So they declared the independence of Somaliland. And they have been really decent folks. Stable politics, decent politics, free and fair elections, and so on. In spite of all of that goodness, not one, that is 1991, they declared their independence in 1991, not one single country on earth has given them recognition. Which means that they're not part of the Committee of Nations. They're not part of the United Nations. They cannot go to international conferences. They cannot be take. They cannot borrow money from the World Bank or the international or, or, or get guarantees from the International Monetary Fund for borrowing money anywhere in the world. And what do you think will happen to such a country? Poverty. They live in poverty. Yes, they are organizing them. They organize themselves well, and they hold good elections, and they are so on. But since nobody has recognized them, their independence is nothing. It's not bringing peace. It's not bringing joy and progress and prosperity to them. So we Yoruba, we are too. We are too civilized so to run ourselves into that kind of situation.
We cannot step into that kind of situation. So the next, the, the, the past few weeks, the next few weeks is negotiating, talking to people, asking how they were, how they are ready to help us. We are lucky that they receive us well everywhere because of Yoruba. The name Yoruba is a, is a, is a name that attracts love and support everywhere. That we have never been to any country where they say, oh, you are in Yoruba, rah, 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 affect, uh -uh. we have never. Everywhere people say, oh, you are decent for, you are decent for. Some people who know history tell us, well, you were already a nation before the British came and rammed you together with other people into a country. We know you. You deserve what you are asking for. You are asking for what is already yours anyway. Uh, and so on. So, by and by, we are sure we will get a few countries that will be able to stand by us, either to mediate between us and Nigeria, or to stand us to, up to defend us if Nigeria chooses to attack us. That's the situation. That is the situation. That's the truth of our existence. And so, my dear people, my plea to you all, consists of three demands. One, pray for the for the people who know these diplomatic games more than the rest of us, who have volunteered to do this thing and go to this country or that country on our behalf quietly. Diplomacy has to be done quietly. It's not something you make a noise about. Let's pray for them that as they go, God will let favor attend their paths everywhere they go. That the Yoruba nation will have favor. Oh, some people think, oh, Eh, I don't be lower one shit or require one to add a gawa. One dog gawa can come. Kalukun shit here, ne? In 1948, to so go to another example, the people of Israel haven't negotiated around the world and begged and organized and so on were assisted by some powerful countries, especially the United States, to come and make their case before the United Nations. Ben-Gurion, who later became their first prime minister, stood before the United Nations and made a, a, wonderful, a wonderful case for the state of Israel. There are countries in the assembly, in the general assembly, in the security council that had already that had long already accepted that Israel should have their country, and that were ready to support Israel. So the the the, the vote was yes for the state of Israel at the United Nations. And back home in Israel, the uh, young people who are doing their thing began to bust into the streets, demonstrating, dancing, kissing one another, and so on. While they were doing that, the Arab countries decided to attack them to make sure that the state of Israel would never exist. And so Arab armies from various directions burst upon the dancing and uh, uh, rejoicing crowd of uh, Jewish people. Israel did, uh, Israel did have a small a modicum of an army, the Haganah, but 
that was not anything strong enough to to stand before the armies of various Arab countries busting in from different directions at the same time. But remember, some powerful countries had made it possible for Israel to stand before the United Nations and to get a vote for their country. Those countries now stood up to, to defend, to offer Israel defense. And Israel was able to survive the multiple attacks. And that's the way to play this game. Don't imagine that uh, in being careful, you are being uh, uh, you are being uh, a coward. You are being cowardly. No, there's no cowardice in the in the in the spirit of the Yoruba people. No, we are not cowardly, but we are intellectually strong people. And we will do whatever is needful so that on the day we declare we will be strong. That's the that's what that's what is needed. Let nobody among us, if you don't understand, okay, that's all right. We don't understand that this is the way this game is played, that's fine. But don't start in the room on the rooftop shouting that those who are who are doing what I have just described are cowards. They are not cowards. They are doing the right thing for us. So that's our situation. Sons and daughters of Odua, we have our country. God has given it to us. We want to be able to take it at a time and in circumstances in which we shall be safe. Thank you for watching. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing so you won't miss out any of our latest videos. My name is Akian Abi. I'm a video director and TV producer of Akomolowe on African Magic. Keep watching Drive TV. Hello, <laughs> Lucy. Drive TV. At Mugwe Iti Femi Sula. Emma Wu. Drive TV. Keep watching Drive TV. My name is Wali Yadba. Take this time out to tell you all that you should keep watching Drive TV. What drive there was no go? What drive there was fulfillment? What drive there was to battle? Oh, Nishiri. Even the home hour drive TV. Thank you, Chloe. Drive TV, driving you around the world.